Hey friends, my name is Candy and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit since I made a video, so let me reintroduce myself. I live in South Mississippi. We are an urban homesteading family. We started urban homesteading because I wanted a little garden. I grew up gardening, I grew up canning, I grew up spending a lot of time in the kitchen and it was just natural. And after I had my own kids and we had the space, I felt like I needed to do it too again, you know? So I had a little garden made, you know, a few garden beds, and then I added more the next year and more the next year, <laughs> you know, more the next year if you catch my drift. We don't have a ton of garden space, but I tried to make do with what garden space we do have. Um, we can't produce all our own food. Um, one day we will but that's not right now and that's okay. A little bit is better than none. We are blessed that we have a local farm not far from us where we can get a bunch of veggies, fruits, all sorts of things. They even now have um, beef cattle that they're selling, which we're hoping to get half a cow later this year since on our property we can't have that kind of thing. Where we are, we have garden. Um, I have like, vegetable gardens, I have medicinal, I have tea, culinary herbs, we have chickens. Um, we are also in a unique predicament where we are also a military family. So if you are military, you know that you might have to move and you gotta get ready fairly quickly sometimes. So everything is kind of set up to where if we need to move, it is something that can happen relatively easily and quickly so our stuff is permanent but it's also kind of temporary unfortunately so with what we're doing right now it's just in the meantime one day we dream of a forever property we get to do bigger better more it's just not right now so today I'm gonna take you with me as I plant potatoes and get a few things done and walk you through what I have done in the garden already this year. I have been doing gardening things, but I'm way behind what I did last year because I had a hip replacement in December. So I'm almost four months out from surgery. I can do a lot more. I am feeling a whole lot better, but I also have a limit I didn't have before, or I guess I should say it's just a whole lot different. Um, so today is perfect. We are in like the mid 70s. It's overcast. We're post pop. We should be getting a storm here. Um, will we, will we not is always a thing, but it's storm season. Um, where we live, there is a hurricane season. It's about half the year. Uh, so it's <laughs> right around the corner. So gardening with hurricanes, is always fun, but let's get going. Let me show you what I need to do because it's a lot. So, put my sunglasses on, put my hat on, look like a gardening old lady to fit in with my neighbors. Before we get going on planting things, let me walk you through what I call the backyard garden. So, we're going to start here and work our way around, and you can see I don't have a lot of space, but I do have a lot of plants. As you come in my garden, you will see my big garden bed. I made a video about how I put this all together last year. I actually had three little wooden beds here, but what rots where we live because we get so much rain. So I put this in instead and I absolutely love it. Last year I did a ton of tomatoes in here. It worked great, but I'm trying to crop rotate as best as I can. So you can see little things popping up. I honestly don't remember what all I planted, but it's a lot of, um, I know there's cucumber, zucchini, some watermelons. Um, I do have some flowers in here. Um, that is basil, I know that. But like I have planted little zinnias here and then my peas that are looking so sad because my kids just yanked the peas off. They are on their way out sadly. Um, but I have lots of stuff coming up already since we have gotten a lot of rain. This year I am mulching with straw. So I do get some little seeds in here, but they pull out really quickly. So I'm hoping this will be the worst of my weed issue this year. So if I turn this way, I have a small um, 
what's it called? Grow bag situation, a larger grow bag. And then I have pots here. I have two green stalks. So let me show you what's going on over here. I have a whole bunch going on in this one. I started out wanting to do all strawberries. None of my favorite root strawberries did anything. So I have some that have strawberries put off, but I added like nasturtium, marigolds, pansies. This poor strawberry is hanging on for dear life. So there's just a whole bunch of that in here. It is beautiful. I think I even have a rogue Cosmo. It is gorgeous. I can't wait to see it a little bit more filled out already. In here in this garden bed, it is not doing the best. It needs to be uh, a little amended. So some zinnias. And then this is either, it's a cherry tomato. I have a cherry tomato here and here. And then I believe up here as well, just for easy kid reach. Um, I did throw some pansies in this one. This one has a pansy and some pepper, a uh, pepper. Nasturtium needs a little fertilizing. So in this big one, I've got some peppers, tomatoes, and uh, marigolds in between. Kind of help as my pest. I have a couple empty spots and I want to put um, cucumbers in here so then they can weave along my fence. This thing up here, I believe this is blue tansy, if I remember. Uh, marigolds, some zinnias. And then I don't remember what these flowers are, but they came back. Um, in here, in my big concrete beds, which these two, this whole side is new. So in the fall, we put these in in time to get my garlic in for um, just more stability because our wood beds rotted. So um, I have these here. I plan to put beans as much as I can around the edge to maximize growing space. Um, I do plan to do some growing in the backs, but not quite yet. This will, I will put um, like a, tr uh, a trellis. Yeah, a trellis, that's the name, <laughs> over the back fence um, eventually. I think I'm gonna put some fun stones here. Right now it's just cardboard, trying to mulch and kill anything. So garlic is all right there. These are some leeks. I need to get in here and mulch a little bit better. But since we turned the ground so much, I've had to weed a lot. I did add in this nice big trellis. It was a one cattle panel. I had to cut it in half to get it home. So I just zip tied it together. But those little things, that's on my to-do list to cut, you know, one day. So I have this garden bed. It is a birdie's garden bed. It is awesome. It holds a lot um, and I love it because it's under this trellis. So I'm hoping to plant some cooler items here to extend their life with how hot we get. So right now I have some lettuce, spinach, kale that is aroma back there. Um, and then I have a couple zinnias poked in here and then foxglove in the back. It is one that held on from last year. So I'm hoping it continues to grow. My goal is to put um, some more trailing things here, like my Tromancino squash, Armenian cucumbers, and just bigger things and fill this trellis. In this bed, I have tomatoes, I have peppers. They are planted probably closer than some people are okay with. Um, but I'm trying something new this year. And with where we are, I need to do kind of intense planting. But you can see I have a trellis up here. I just used some leftover materials. So I will have some trellising up top there, as well as just using some long bamboo sticks I get locally for um, trellising. And I have one carrot. <laughs> that made it but i'm gonna do beans along here as well and then i have a bunch of pots i am going to utilize so i have pots like i mentioned but then in these i have some bell peppers our peppers i believe these are red marconi and those are jalapeno intense planting it's a way i'm able to grow here and get a lot um, because I don't have a big space. So it seems like a lot, but this space is just our side yard. You know, we park our trailer. I do have all of these tomatoes and basils to deal with. Um, these I just grew extra of, and I'm gonna put some in pots and maybe plant some in my front yard. My poor lilies, I never got to 
plant this year, but I'm excited because I bought them on clearance at Walmart. So those will be there. Yarrow, I am going to divide some of these babies. That is my hope. I believe these are walking onions. And then these are my two elderberries. These are gonna get planted in the backyard to give a little bit more shade color in the backyard because we don't have anything. Um, and then, you know, get them out of here. Oh, I didn't talk about my other green stock. I have two green stocks. I walked right past it. This green stock, I haven't fully flipped. Everything that's in here is either volunteers or things from last year. So all these Cosmos, beautiful air volunteers. I believe I have some basil popping up. I have no idea what this is, but it is big and beautiful. It is a flower of some kind, um, but I don't remember what it is. So I had peppers in this last year. They grew, but I'm just not as happy with how they grew here. So I'm gonna just do cucumbers and some beans and other things in this for the time being. Here's my pots. <laughs> to start feeling I have random pots. I feel like all over the garden because that's just how it goes. So now let's get some stuff and start planting. Okay, for planting my potatoes, I have this old tub. It probably won't last past the season, but I have it, I'm gonna use it because reuse everything, right? So what I did is I drilled a whole bunch of holes in the bottom with a bit and I'm going to elevate it probably with bricks because I have a bunch of extra ones from projects we have done. I'm gonna put probably a few inches worth of soil, add some compost, and then I have potatoes. I don't have a whole lot because we don't have a whole lot of room, but it's fun for the kids, it's fun for me. So we're gonna be planting these purple potatoes. They look like some <laughs> freaky thing right now. So they need to get planted. Planting potatoes is easy. So I'm gonna steal some dirt probably from a couple pots, add compost. And then what's cool about potatoes is this hat. <laughs> you can start low and as they grow, you just keep adding and they will keep multiplying. Um, I should say that works for indeterminate potatoes. Potatoes can be like tomatoes where there's determinate that only grow a determinate size or um, indeterminate that can keep growing. Like basically cherry tomatoes and all that jazz. Uh, so let me get started. All right, here are my potatoes. Doesn't really look like anything, but you can see a little purple poke now. I will cover this with some straw going through it, both of these. I did find some worms, so that's exciting. Could I grow more potatoes if I had cut them up and divided that highs? Totally. Do I have space? No, this is what works. This will be probably a couple dinners, maybe four or five dinners worth of potatoes for our family, but more than anything, it is the learning and experience for my kids and I, learning everything on small scale to learn how to do it bigger on a bigger scale for later on. Okay, next big project in the garden is hanging this flower pot thing I have. Um, what I am going to do, since it has like little spots where you can hang it and then take it on and off, I'm going to hang it and then take it off, fill it up, and then hang it back up to make it easier on myself because it's heavy. <laughs> it's up. Uh, not center, but I'm telling myself it's because I have a tomato that's gonna grow right here. So fill in, it will look great. <laughs> These were discounted flowers from a local box store. So I got them for like 90 cents each. All the other discount flowers I've bought have really perked up really quickly. So I'm hoping these will be the case after a good watering, and more space to grow. They're just annuals. It's something to give a little bit more pretty um, to be in here. So for, you know, I got the basket for free. I got the hanger for free. The Coco Core um, basket was, you know, maybe $5 or less. So I have less than $10 in this whole thing. Had the screws, you know, it worked. And now it's up here and I get to enjoy it 
for the rest of the year. at the bottom, added some compost in, filled the very top rung with basil, and then I did bush watermelons, purple snap peas, and then bush cucumbers just to fill it out. And then I have some lemon I'm gonna fill out on my long bed to hopefully um, vine out. Um, we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow, so I feel like I am rushing and raising. <laughs> Ooh, that was way too many cucumbers. To um, get some seeds planted, just because, I mean, I, I want to get this done. And, you know, this is, this is my thing. So when my husband helps, I appreciate it, but I also don't expect him to help because it's what I enjoy to do. So, okay, seeds are all in. Now let's go do the TP. What I plan to put on the trellis is um, asparagus beans or yard long beans. I want to try them. I haven't yet. Arminian cucumber, trombancino squash, and then straight eight. So I know this is a lot for one trellis, but I'm just going to mix them all together and hope for the best. Um, if it doesn't work out this year, I know for next year, uh, my gardening style is um, plant and pray. That is my gardening style. Plant and pray because you never know what you're gonna get. It could be a flop, it could be a great win. I feel like that's how I've learned to garden is just planting and praying. And it doesn't always work, but I'm always pleasantly surprised when it does. So I get these in the ground and then water everything I've done in the backyard very well the only thing i don't think i'm going to get to today is planting green beans that will just be another day i am taking wins as i can and appreciating them and not getting discouraged okay i planted two holes of trombancino two armenian two straight eight cucumbers and then one hole of yard long beans yard long are my experiment one i know we already like the other three we are a big cucumber eating family so i'm trying to grow a, a variety of cucumbers to uh, maybe nail down which ones we like the most so those are all done um i need to water and then i need to see if i can squeeze in some time out front i don't know if i'm going to but i need to try okay and ps if you have not bought one of these cool garden seeds i will highly advise you to i love mine it is such a godsend especially post-surgery so you can have it one way to sit on flip it over and kneel on it and then you have handles getting up 10 out of 10 recommend and then this is a straw i am using this year is there better things yes accessibility easy for me um practicality for me and my mobility right now 100 percent so will i pay for it i don't know right now it is a win Here's a final walkthrough of what the garden looks like when we are all done. 
There's still a lot of cleanup that needs to be done, but that will be another day. I have limits post-surgery, but I am enjoying immensely being back in the garden. It is such a happy place for me. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. I'll be a little rusty for a bit, but soon enough we'll be talking all about canning, gardening, food preservation, and more as the year goes on. Thanks for joining me, friends. Bye.